So Glenn, you're looking a little dirty. It's like you've done like 120 k's on a dirty track in an open car. Yeah, nothing like eating a bit of red sand from Kalgoorlie, good quality. Uh, no, we had a really good run that time, no dust actually. I don't know where that come from, but uh, had a good run and yeah, I think we did the same time as the last lap, which I was surprised about, but tracks deteriorated a bit, so maybe that had something to do with it. Now it looks like provisionally you might be third in the championship. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think, um, you know, that first run hurt us a bit, so, you know, second to third, but it's not all about that for us, it's the experience for Dakar. And yeah, there was a lot to take away with the dunes and that, with the, with the ruts and that today, that uh, not unlike what some of what we'll do in Dakar, so it was good practice. And the other good thing is, is the car's pretty much run faultlessly all weekend. Yeah, yeah, we can't put it down to the car. It's, uh, we just did the best we could with what we had. It's, it's, we have to keep looking at the other cars, and this is a standard car, and most of the cars in front of us aren't. So, um, yeah, so to push a standard car like that and get a good result is, uh, yeah, I think it's a testament to the strength of these things. Now, you've got a few more rallies to come before Dakar, but really the next off-road event for you is Dakar. Yes, this is the last one for me and Dale before Dakar, but um, yeah, i still got a, a promotion day to do with Kick-Ass and uh, Bega next weekend in the Cosworth, so still a bit to look forward to. And then, uh, yeah, maybe get, try and get a bit of fitness ready for Dakar. 57 right, opens long, 30, 10 left, tightens 9 at Arrow. Keep going, go, go, 10. Yeah, we smashed our way through. It was a lot rougher on that uh, pass, that second pass, than it was this morning. Um, we didn't raise the height of the car. I think the car still handled well in, in the conditions that we had, but yeah, we were crashing out quite a lot through some things. So um, yeah, the time, even though it felt faster and we were sort of pushing a little bit more than we did this morning and we had a dust-free run, the time was around the same because of the conditions. So uh, yeah, I think we've got to be happy with the way we got our way through both of those heats. Um, and yeah, that wraps up our championship. The results aren't final yet, but it could be that you're third or maybe even second in the championship, so that's a good good outing. Yeah, look, I mean, Cookie and, and Mitch were the pace setters all year, so they thoroughly deserve the championship, and you know we're happy that it came down to the, to the last round and, and happy to put the fight to them, but yeah, they deserve the championship. I think Glenn and I are happy with either second or third. I think for us, that's just reserved for, um, you know, the, the good job that we did all year. <laughs> Ironically, obviously, if you take Fink out of it, and there's always those ifs in rallying, but if you take uh, Fink out of it, any sort of finish there would have had us you know, in that battle and probably a championship win, but that's the way it rolls sometimes. So yeah, we're, we're very, very happy with how we performed this year. And uh, yeah, some good foundations of, of both experience of this championship and just generally these cars and desert racing. So that's that was the aim of these last couple of years was was the build up to Dakar as we know um, so I think you know the box has been ticked well and truly there uh, so yeah very very happy. And whilst Glenn doesn't have any more off-road events you've actually got some pretty decent ones. Yeah I go to a New South Wales state rally in Bega next week and then the week or the two weeks after that I'm in South Africa for some testing and then the last round of the South African championship in a big T1 plus buggy so looking forward to that and then come home for the last round of the ARC in Canberra and then hopefully a, a month off to rest and also you know, work on the fitness and get everything ready for Dakar. So even though it's a month off, it's, it's going to be flat out in the build up.